hi and welcome to my channel so this 2024 has really seen the most drastic and mind-blowing immigration rules policies in the uk the uk has the highest visa fees and everything else compared to any other country but look there is something that is really staggering that has happened higher education institutions in the uk have now announced that they are lowering their entry requirements in order to attract more international students this 2024 so if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber i absolutely appreciate your time and look there is a lot that is going on in this country. If you're in the UK on visa sponsorship, it's very crucial and vital to keep your eye on what is going on. If you're out of the UK wanting to move, it is absolutely essential and urgent that you are aware of all the changes and updates that are happening. I always ensure that I bring those updates here, which is why I share a video on this channel every single day, 10 a.m. prompt UK time on failing me. So if you haven't joined this family, Take this opportunity now to hit the subscribe button below so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. And I'm calling 2024 the year for reawakening. This means that if you've been procrastinating, you've wanted career progression, you've wanted to get visa sponsorship, you wanted to switch, you wanted something personal, and you're thinking to yourself, can I do this? Is it for me? Am I too old? Am I too young? Do I have money? Can I afford it? Look, leave that in 2023. So let's talk about all of what's going on really in today's video regarding the higher institutions, the impact that this is having, regrets that they are having with the policies that have been introduced obviously by the government. Because as you know, the government's interest and policy is to reduce net migration, which is literally they want more people leaving the UK than the number of people actually coming to the UK. But that's very difficult because most people that come to this country don't leave. They don't want to leave. And so net migration keeps on increasing. But because of the laws that they are putting in order to kind of balance this, it's affecting the higher institutions that are saying you need to stop these immigration laws changes you need to let more international students come here because we are benefiting a lot from them and so it's like a yo-yo situation where one person wants x the next person wants y but where does this leave you as an overseas candidate who is already in the uk or indeed wanting to move to the uk that is our focus today and if you're not aware, by the way, I do have a free newsletter. I've dropped the link in the comment section below. When you join, I send information such as this directly to your beautiful inbox. I also share information about free visa sponsorship jobs, opportunities to move to the UK or switch your visa if you're already in the UK. But most importantly, one thing that I'm really passionate about and that is really my mission, my goal, my purpose is career progression in the uk because let me tell you with all the immigration laws policies changes updates and the stress that you and i go through to get to this country look there is no reason why we should settle for less in this country it is not worth it because it is going to be costing people more to move to the uk than they are ever going to make in this country if you're not careful so moving to the uk is not going to be for people who are like hey i'm going to see how it goes then you're going to be working as a carer and earning twenty thousand for the rest of your life it will be costing you more for your visa application than you're going to make in salary in this country so you need to be very strategic you need to be very smart very careful career progression apprenticeships and that's why i share all of that information on this channel so that you can get paid instead to study with that visa sponsorship rather than you having to pay you get what i mean it's a no-brainer and as people keep on paying all this money to study they're gonna keep making the changes because many people are not aware worse still many people are lazy to apply for those apprenticeships and so the easy option is to pay twenty thousand pounds to higher education institutions in the uk without any chance whatsoever of ever getting a job. It is very, very sad. So join the newsletter. Like I said, it's in the comment section. Drop your name and email. You're part of it. You're also going to find my contact details on there. There's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address. And if you're part of the top 1% of people that like me interested in investing in your personal development, you're unapologetic about your career progression in the UK, your success, you want to earn more, work less, retire early, then again, Check those details, look, and join the clan. Because 
some of us are on a mission to make sure that we are leaving no stone unturned in this country. I'm passionate about this, by the way, because I started my own UK journey as well as a carer in a nursing home. You know, I've done domiciliary care. I've done living care. I've done support work. I then started nursing as an international student. I paid £10,000 per year to study for three years. So I paid £30,000. And at the time that I was studying nursing, I started in September of 2011. Nursing was free in the UK. Nobody paid fees, which is why I was paying £10,000. But right now, the same university that I attended is charging £20,000 for international students to study nursing, which means that for you to become a nurse after three years, you are going to pay tuition fees of £60,000. I mean, for you to save £60,000 in the UK, look, leave a comment in the comment section below if you're in the UK right now. How long will it take you to save £60,000? And that's why I talk about apprenticeships. You know what I mean? You need to be wise. You need to be smart. If you're watching my videos, you need to be really, really strategic and apply for these opportunities that I'm sharing. Because after studying nursing for the three years, when I found out about apprenticeships, I was like, look, this is what I'm going to do. And so I've gone on now to do two apprenticeships. The first apprenticeship I did was in mentorship in nursing at master's level. So my employer paid me and paid my tuition fees to do the course. I have done another apprenticeship again after that, which has been my master's in advanced clinical practice, which I was being paid over £50,000 you know, per year to study. And my employer again was paying the tuition fees. So again... These are ways that you could do in order for you to really make the most of the opportunities in this country. But it takes patience. Let me tell you, it took me just over a year to get my apprenticeship. It took me over one year of checking jobs every single day. And this was, I was already a senior nurse. I knew, you know, I was very familiar with the system, the processes. It took me over one year to get my last apprenticeship that I just, you can see it takes a lot of focus. <laughs> It takes a lot of effort, but it is worth it because if they're paying you £50,000 per year and paying your tuition fees, are you happy to spend one year looking for that opportunity? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you think I did the right thing or was I just crazy? Like, hey, why are you taking one year to get this? You can see that I will tell you that it was well worth it. So again, this is how you need to think. If you're wanting to study in the UK, that's a point I'm trying to make. You need to be very wise. It's better to take a year, even two years, to get a job or get an apprenticeship than having to pay £60,000, £70,000 to do a course that you stand no chance whatsoever of ever getting a job in that sector. Because the government itself, in fact, the higher education institutions have said that over 500,000 international students moved to the UK in 2023, bringing in an extra £40 billion pounds in the UK. That is £40 billion. Pounds. That's a lot of money. And this is why they are worried that because of the changes, some people will decide not to come to the UK. But in order to counteract that, they are simply massaging, you know what I mean, the requirements to get into the UK as a student so that they can reduce it and anybody who has money to afford it can pay because what they need is the money. The degrees are not really helpful for those international students because of these 500 international students, some of them, you know, almost all of them that are staying in the UK through the job, you know, route and work and all that are carers. Which means that you're going to pay £20,000 to do a, a, you know, to do a course, complete the course, and then apply for a carer job. I mean, what was the point not applying for a carer job in the first place? That's what, and then the majority of people that haven't had the carer jobs have applied for the post-study visa, paying more billions of pounds into the economy, and then carrying on to find the carer jobs. So you leave from a student visa to a post-study visa to a carer visa, or you leave for a student, from a student visa to a carer visa. So everything still ends onto the fact that you don't get a job for the thing that you've studied. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Like, So why are people paying all this money to do all these courses? You need to be very wise. You need to check the employability. One advantage that the UK has is that they don't say to you, if you didn't do sciences, you cannot do X, Y, Z. So you can do anything you want. You can study any course in this country. By the way, I do have a free career coaching program that, you know, I offer support with um, free visa sponsorship jobs in the UK, career progression, NHS jobs, apprenticeships. Obviously, 
if you watch my previous videos, I always say this. My coaching program is not for everybody. It's only for less than 1% of people here. Less than 1% of people here are appropriate for my program because it's not for everybody, obviously. I mean, everybody cannot be saved. It doesn't work because few of us, the, the effort that it takes to succeed in the UK, let me tell you, very few people have the patience to put in that effort. Few people. And so, if you're keen and you're watching this video and you're one of those people, do check the description box below or the about page of this channel. You're going to see a link to my private coaching program. If you need to contact me, then check the comment section below. You're going to find my contact details. And if you've got any questions, you're more than welcome, you know, to have that conversation to talk about what your concerns are so that you're not watching video after video after video procrastinating and if you need mentorship on what are some of the best courses which by the way i have done lots of videos on here sharing courses that have a hundred percent employability i mean if i'm studying if there is one percent chance that i will not get a job after studying a particular course i am not doing the course and that's how i am that's just me some people will argue that no studies are good it doesn't matter whether you have a job for it or not you should go ahead and study i say that personally i would not spend my time resources doing any course that has nothing to offer worst of all paying twenty thousand pounds thirty thousand pounds for it it doesn't make any sense so again if you're somebody that like me you're invested in that personal professional development then obviously it's perfect for you it's not a walk in the park a lot of work you know effort you need a lot of enthusiasm you need positive attitude because like i say a lot of effort is needed i never want to sit here to make as if things are easy i mean no it's not easy like i say i've gone through this journey from a carer now to the most senior clinical nursing position i can tell you that it is not easy if anybody tells you that it's easy because on youtube world everything is easy or move to the uk in two days or you can progress from this to the, it is hard it's hard work but there's no option you know there's no option that you and i have we must put in that effort in order to succeed we must put in the effort that is needed for us to succeed i'm, I'm saying there's no option there is no option so again it is what it is so that's the situation, obviously, with the higher education institutions. They're not happy with the changes, obviously, that have been implemented because they are losing out on money. And one thing also, if you're not aware, UK student fees are capped at £9,250, which means that if you have indefinite leave to remain or you have a British passport and you're eligible to be considered as a home student, tuition fees legally by law, this has been the case over the last 10 years, even though there's been inflation and everything, universities cannot change the tuition fees for home students and that's why they pay a maximum of 9250 and the reason why international the law says that international student fees each university can decide how much they want to charge anytime for any course and that's why you see that my university that i attended even though i paid ten thousand pounds per year as an international student somebody studying in that university today same course same everything as an international student is paying twenty thousand pounds per year for the same course it's because international students need to pay more in order to counteract and make up for the fact that home students british students pay less and i'm like why should that be the case by the way but anyway i'm not in the position to be asking about why's and how's you know because obviously it's only my opinion but i mean the only thing is, I'm not saying it's bad to study in the UK. I studied in the UK myself. I paid those fees. But what I'm saying is, do your research well. Make sure you're studying a course that is going to benefit you, aka get a job. You cannot just be studying for studying's sake and paying such an amount of money. You need to choose a course that has a 99% at least employability which means that as you're completing that course you're a hundred percent guaranteed that you'll get a job with visa sponsorship if the answer is no focus and get a job or get an apprenticeship if you're somebody who wants to study because apprenticeships are now available the government you know the prime minister is very very interested in apprenticeship he's invested billions of pounds into apprenticeships which is why Almost all institutions right now are recruiting apprentices and that's what you should do. I've shared lots of opportunities on this channel about different apprenticeship opportunities so that you're aware of what they are. You put yourself forward and if it's going to take you one year, like it took me, <laughs> to get an apprenticeship, for example, then you should. So depending on the level that you want, obviously, it's going to be challenging, 
you know, depending on what you want. For example, the apprenticeship that I was looking for was um, a level seven apprenticeship. So uh, an apprenticeship that very few organizations offer very specific to very senior um, clinicians. So obviously that was going to take me longer, but it was worth it in the end. So again, if you want just normal entry level apprenticeships, it's very different. So it's not going to take you a year. That's what I mean. But even if it does, it's worth it. So again, what do you think about these opportunities? You know, these are all obviously my ideas, my opinions. This is, I'm just sharing what I think, what I would do at this point in time. And so do make sure that, by the way, share this video with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so they're aware of these opportunities. Check out the videos that I've shared on here about the courses that will guarantee you 100% employability. But if you want me to do a video, brand new 2024 the courses that will guarantee you that employability in the uk with visa sponsorship leave that in the comment section and i'm more than happy to share that information also check out my newsletter in the comment section and 100 percent join so that i send that info directly to your amazing inbox and you're not reliant on the youtube algorithm for such vital and crucial information for your personal and professional development so absolutely vital but if you need to contact me you need that one-to-one -one tailored individualized and personalized guidance you're in the uk you're thinking to yourself melvis i need to study i need an apprenticeship i need to get to the nhs i need to get into nursing the good old nursing you know i'm a nurse absolutely love the profession i'm a huge advocate of getting people to get into nursing why not it gives you 100 percent employability you're never going to struggle for a job you can live in any country you want those are the sort of jobs you need to be thinking towards and let me tell you nobody is born a nurse you choose what you do in your life because some people are going to be like oh my god i didn't do sciences i didn't do biology i didn't do chemistry it doesn't matter and that's the good thing about the uk so again check out this other video that i've linked up here especially for you i do appreciate your time and i'll see you in this video right here